This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 279, for Wednesday, July 11th, <laughs> 2018. This is Brian. I don't know who that is. This is Lisa, your wife. The woman to whom you are legally bound for the rest of your <laughs> life. <laughs> so, I was in Chicago this past weekend. I know. It was awesome. That I wasn't. <laughs> and I, I, I ran into a, a salesman, and he suggested I buy a coffin. So I can bury you in it? I told him it was the last thing I'll ever need. <sighs> anyway. Welcome. What's up with the sunglasses? Eric brought them back from his trip. These are from Quick Trip. <laughs> he loves me so much that he brought me back <clears throat> gas station sunglasses. Fourth of July. I know. Aren't they great? I think I want to start like a, whole, a, a collection of really bad, ugly sunglasses. So I need to go back to Target and get those little hot pink they look like kids' sunglasses in the shape of, like, flowers, right? Aren't these cool? These are awesome. So this week, we have a bunch of new and exciting products. Go. You can wear those the whole time. Except when I have to read, yes. <clears throat> Just to oh mess God. with you. Hey, can you read that over there? What does that say? That says Cognac Brown. <sighs> You're no fun. Um, <laughs> we got a bunch of new stuff in this week. Um, some of it was a little bit of a surprise. Oh, um, what were we surprised about? Well, I just, you know, sometimes you don't know when stuff is coming in, but um, the new Visconti Homo Sapiens. Like shaking that. It's like a, a shaker. Yeah. Bronze swirl. Look at this. Is this not really a, a very attractive pen? It's got kind of an ivory cap, uh, almost a coppery bronze. Coffee. 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 Uh, white. Swirl on the Ooh, transparent the barrel. Feed is it, ivory. How funky it's an ivory is that? Feed, yep. I have not looked at this. Sometimes I'll cheat and I'll peek. I have not looked at this. Well, it just came in, so. Um, but I mean, you've seen it. Well, I have. Twenty-three karat palladium nib. Uh, funky. Limited edition. It's. That's just, very it's gorgeous. Cool. It's really nice. Rhodium trim. Too big for me, so you're safe. Um, you know, double reservoir power filler, of course. Just a, it's a good-looking pen. Well, it has you, you two. You just rattle <laughs> that off like everybody knows what that is. And well, I okay, so it has, and, and, it, and it's easy to see on this pen because there's there's two chambers here essentially. There's the back chamber. I gotta take my see, sunglasses off. See, that, that's all it took, right? There are two <laughs> chambers. There's the back chamber, and then okay. there's this forward chamber here. Okay. So when this is when you fill it, Do and both you screw of them this fill? down, yes. Okay. So. You screw this down, and this is just like on, on your VAC 700. When you screw it down, it closes off the back reservoir oh, okay. from the front reservoir. So, you know, um, when so you, you only have access to that small to the reservoir. front. Yes, the okay. front part from here, which is about you know what is that half an inch back from right. the, the 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 thread okay. essentially. Um, but when you want to fill that front reservoir again, you just hold it like so, nib down, and then you let the unscrew this and let the ink pour in. That. Screw it back right. down, and you got yourself a little more. So you give yourself a little ink at a time. Okay. Um, pace yourself. You can pace yourself, yep. Good. Um, but uh, it holds a ton of ink. Good. The Wall Street that I had had that feature. It was kind of nice. Because, you know, when you when you think you're out, then you just, you know, but you always with, have more. With your Wall Street, you couldn't see through it as easily. So Not as easily. I, I had, the, had the ink window, so I could oh, see if that there was, you know, a, a little bit of ink in there. But this is just a really a great-looking pen. Um, it almost looks, uh, you know, this ivory almost looks like a marble, you know, real nice marble flooring or something. But nice, nice looking pen. Um, Very cool. I really like the, you know, they've really, really started to improve how they do the, the, uh, the lettering on the clip. Um, it's not like it used to be. It's got a nice little ivory inlay on they, there. They've really stepped up their quality control and their attention to detail in the last year or so. Um, we've been we've been very pleased with what we're seeing from Visconti these days. And uh, Coles of London <laughs> is terrific to work with. Yep. Um, they take it, feedback really. Yeah, yeah, quite and, well. and they take it seriously, mm -hmm. and they actually do something with it. Um, which is which is terrific. So. so, if you're a Homo Sapiens fan, you like those limiteds, um, this is grab it. Yeah, this is 888 pieces. Um, it's just really, it, it's a, I, I haven't, I haven't always liked all of the, the limiteds that came, have come out. 
Um, I do regret not having gotten the crystal, which was very early on. Uh, but uh, this one, this one's nice. Very attractive. It, it makes me think of coffee, actually. Ooh. So coffee. anyway, Visconti, Homo sapiens, bronze swirls. Um, what else we got? We uh, finally got in the new uh, Faber-Castell inks. Uh, so we've got one, a bunch of them. Cognac brown. That's nice. Really pretty That's brown. Nice. I like that. It's very warm. Um, Viper green. It's just bright and fun. Let me see that. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I like the next one. The next one's maybe my favorite of the box. Everybody in the um, Funny Farm was talking about this. Olive green, super pretty. I like yeah. it. It's not um, too muddy and darkened, but it's definitely got some depth to it. So. It kind of reminds me of uh, Alt Gold Green almost. Yep. Or, or Chico Green. Klinger. Yep. Um, this one I'm going to screw up, so I'm going to try really hard to get it right. It's... Gulf blue. Hi. I thought it was surf blue, and so when I printed out, well, read that. Yeah, I can see how you. Yeah. Can so that. first yeah. I was calling it, it, it surf it, blue, the, the, and then the G doesn't yeah. quite close. Like an S, and it looks like an S. And the L looks like an R. So anyway, Gulf blue. So. Because after I redid the um, swab cards, I kept saying surfs up. <laughs> <laughs> Just to mess with everybody, so it's Gulf Blue. Uh, India Red, which I thought was a little more red when I was swabbing it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not bad, though. It's not bad. No, no, no. I like it. It's got a little bit of little bit of salmon almost. Yeah. To it. And then uh, we also have um, an ink that we well, picked. Hang on, hang on. Let's let's give, give me that olive green box. So they're also it looks like they're doing they're doing new labels. Now. I, I see know. this coming on cool. on some of the uh, the, the other lines is they're putting a little bit of a viper. What would you just a, it's an image instead of just a color swab yes. on the box, which Snake is kind of nice. Skin. Yeah, that's cool. So it, it's just a little Except bit of you don't like olives. Well, I don't like olives, but I like I like that it, it freshens up the box and the packaging. It's the same same great uh, Ooh, cognac. I wonder if like they took a picture of cognac. Um, now I same want great bottles in my coffee. coffee. Yeah, the, the bottles are just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. They've always done a nice job. And what I like is, since I'm clumsy, they're nice and sturdy. You can't knock it over. Yeah, I have. I actually have an, an empty Graf on Faber-Castell bottle I use for shellac, actually. We've repurposed, and when I do pen repair, it's, it's the best bottle ever. So Cool. Uh, we, we may have empty bottles. If you are interested, just give us a shout. They're awesome, yep. We'll, we'll help you find them because they're not on the website. Uh, but moving on to noodlers. At the St. Louis Pen Show, they had a um, show color, and it is Cardinal Kestrel. And uh, again, I think it's actually a little darker than this. But um, super, super pretty color. Every paper is different. Right? We did uh, pick some up at the show, and we do have them online. Um, Interesting label. Nathan um, spends so much time on the labels. It's really... Got a little cardinal on there and some deceased blue jays or something. <laughs> Orioles. I don't know what's going on. A um, little baseball theme there, but uh, what's not to like about a, a cardinal on your bottle of ink? Um, oh. I'm a big fan. So... New ink, um, and if we're going to complete the triad this week, we've got um, new notebooks from... Which are a problem for me. Well, Because we'll I, I like them, but I'm not going to use them, so, okay, but I want well, one. All right, well, um, you know, you're a, you're a peach. You're not very funny. That's the book she gave me. I love this one. You're happy to see me? No. <laughs> I love, love it. You. Isn't that adorable? Uh, stiff flexibles. New, uh, a bunch of new designs came in. I love um, all that the we animals. Didn't have. Yeah, the animals are there's cute. There's a they're penguin. Adorable. There's a rabbit. There's a cow. Cow. Mm -hmm. Look at that. A little frog. It's adorable. Love it. Um, and then we've got um, subway. The si the subway for the cities. You've got Paris, London. Look at Madrid. What a gorgeous color that is. Yeah, Milan. Yep. So. Yeah, very uh, those cool. are actual large sizes. sizes. Yeah, most of them are, and they, they kind of have their own size, so it's uh, a little different than you know your standard A5 whatever. Um, but what's really cool is so these have you know they they're a hard cover, but then they flex a little bit so that you don't have to worry about bending them. They're all lined, but then in the back you have some blank pages, some graph, 
and uh, the last um, graph pages are all perforated, so you can rip it out. Oh, that's got a little cool. pocket in the back. It comes with a notebook. It's got this elastic closure. Um, These are awesome. <clears throat> so they're they're really a uh, and did we mention fountain pen? But wait, friendly. There's more. Okay. Fountain pen friendly. Fountain well, pen that's friendly, very yeah. important. So it's new paper on on uh, these new designs. Um, the old old designs weren't quite as fountain pen friendly, but the new ones are, are very very much an improvement. Um, Italian made, uh, cute covers. They're adorable. I mean, we, we must have I don't know how many designs now. 50, 50 different designs. They're adorable. Um, mostly in this, which is a good size. This is uh, sort of like a short. Short A5, maybe? A little bit taller, a little bit narrower. I like the bigger size. Yeah, I figured you would. Can I get a frog in the big size? Mm -mm. No? The frog only comes in this size. Oh, man. The extra large is like pretty much only the... The cities? The, uh, the underground. All right, well, I guess so. I'll just have to turn that into my travel journal. There you go. If we go to Paris? No, or just, London. you know, wherever. There's no Japan? No. No Tokyo? Okay. No. All right, uh, so new stiff flexible designs, these are great. Uh, just a little bit of everything in those things, so. And um, who doesn't like a fun cover on your journal? Yep, yep, so. Um, anyway, those are new, and what's coming new very soon, uh, new brand, and we've been kind of chasing this brand for a while. Well, chasing's not really well, chasing's the right word. Not we've the been, right word. We've been looking. looking at this off and on for a couple years, and uh, Diplomat, Diplomat is coming. Yep. Diplomat has changed distributors, and um, kind of at the same time that we'd made the decision to go with it, so that was yep. interesting. Um, the arrow, I've wanted an arrow for a long time. I'm shocked you never bought one. I, this is the really, you know, the reason I like it is there it's are a lot of pens on the market that are either balance shaped or they're a, essentially a cylinder with a nib. Well, you've got <coughs> Schaefer Balance, which is Torpedo, yep, yep, ends, torpedo shape. or you've got the Parker the dual, um, fold. dual Fold yep. shape, which are yep. flat ends. So your Meisterstück, your Sailors, your Platinums, they're all tapered to some degree. Or you've got even your Homo Sapiens is a flat top pen. A lot of and your this, Edisons, yeah. a lot of, you know, yeah. a lot of pens use one, one of those two, of two or, or maybe three different basic shapes. Basic, basic profile. The yeah. arrow is The arrow cool. is, now the arrow is tapered, but it's, it's machined aluminum and it's got grooves in it. It's very cool. Yeah. Friction fit cap. It's very comfortable. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. It's nice. Uh, our, our good friend Mike Madison has been a big fan of the Arrow for a number of years. In I fact, know. he told me, he says every time one comes out, he usually gets it. Um, and he keeps, you know, in fact, we were in Raleigh and he had one in his pocket and I was looking at it. So um, those are coming soon. Um, and uh, um, Lots of, uh, and they have a number of other models that are going to be, that are nice. Uh, their Excellence A2 Skyline is really a cool, cool pattern. Um, and then you got to see and fondle some of these? Yeah, yeah. The Esteem is a nice, uh, yeah. We, we were we were at, uh, uh, we'll talk about the, the Yaffa event uh, in a bit, but uh, Ken had most of the models, and there were some really, my God, take those off. Uh, There's some really, really nice pens, and, and some were nicer than I remembered them being. So I was really excited about that. They wrote incredibly well. Good. Um, and you know, sometimes when you when you take a, a sample pen out of you know somebody's sample kit, they're you know they they've been tossed around, and they've been beat up, and they don't always you know they're not always perfect. These things were perfect. So awesome. Uh, very excited about that. Diplomat coming soon. Stay tuned. Uh, if you have anything specific you're looking for, just uh, shoot us an email. We'll be happy to help you out. Cool. So uh, what do we got next? Rapid fire right. since. You're back. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Hit me. Oh, Cena, <laughs> that's funny. Flat top or round top? Flat top. I like a tapered pen. I like a round top. Okay. Uh, how about with cars? I like a square car. No, no, no. Sleek, sexy, yeah. curvy. No, I like a square car. Okay. All right. There you go. That yeah, I like, I, like, I like round tops. Although it's hard to argue with a, you know, like a <laughs> Sailor Pro Gear. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You're you're you're, you're on to the next ahead. question. Go ahead. I was just I was just you know elaborating. So you like a round top, except I like a flat top. D 
I like the Pro Gear is nice. <laughs> it's got the little jewel. That's why I like okay. it. If it didn't have that little jewel on the top, then I would. I would. Okay. I'd say I'm 100 percent round top. Okay. Flat oh, top. I'm done. Ink okay. window or clear demonstrator pen? Oh, that's easy. Neither. <laughs> um, I would prefer an ink window. I, I don't. I don't have too many demonstrators. Um, unless there are true demonstrators in the vintage sense, but um, I, uh, I'm more of a, an ink window type. Just a little subtle bit to see what color ink is in your pen. I don't care. Okay. I don't need to see. It's just one more thing to clean, and I, I'm not. Well, you don't have to clean it. it you know. Well, sometimes like ink can stain it, and then you got to worry about it. And I'm anal that way. But I just, I'm not a fan of an entire demonstrator pen. I know some people love them, so have at it. I just, I've never well, been into that. Well, sometimes it's cool. Sometimes that's cool. I know, but then I'd spend more time watching the ink lava lamp. Yeah. I don't know. All so right. it's just safer for me. I'm yeah, far more like productive. You don't like apparently. Yeah, no demonstrator. No demonstrator. Don't buy me a demonstrator. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, glow in the dark or sparkly? Oh, my God, glow in the dark. Well, what are we talking? Are we talking shoes? Are we talking clothes? Are we talking shoes. ink? Oh, yeah. Watches? Loom? Yeah, go in the dark. Um, sparkly. Sparkly as long as it doesn't, like, rub off. It always rubs off. Well, then, then always. I guess glow in the dark. When you were little, did you have those little stars on your ceiling? No, I did not. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> the kids did. I always wanted them. Um... They may have. Okay. I may have done that since I couldn't have them. Mom, if you're watching, um, since I couldn't have them, I think the kids did briefly. But anyway. All right. All right. Next question. Oh, this is easy. Posted or non-posted? Absolutely, positively, a deal breaker for me has to be able to post. I am a poster. I think the pen has to post. I don't always post, though, because I'm not always writing, you know, the latest chapter of whatever. Um, but if I want to post, I want to be able to do it. So um, posted or non-posted? I usually post, almost always post. Okay. I mean, I have a couple of pens that don't, so it's, you know, it's no big deal, but I prefer that they, next question, am I talking too much <laughs> here? I'm just trying to explain. No, you're just like, yes, no, yes, no, I, yeah, just, I you, know, you know, a little. If it, if it doesn't post, then it's. You're fine with it, but you I'm prefer fine with it. it. Right. Okay. There, there's a couple of couple of check boxes I got to check before I buy a pen and you know if I hit all the check boxes then it's okay but if I if there's anything missing then I give a second thought my pens have to post apparently I'm picky <laughs> <laughs> and delicate <laughs> pepperoni and sausage or pepperoni and mushroom oh, that's so easy okay you go first mushrooms are disgusting <laughs> I can't stand mushrooms Pepperoni and sausage. Can I have pepperoni, sausage, and mushroom? No, you can't. <laughs> I can't. Um, it could be on your half of the. How about though. sausage and mushroom? No. I, I like mushrooms. I hardly ever eat them because Brian can't stand them. So. I just don't like them. They're, right. they're like they're chewy. They're just like you can't. They ever, grow in the dark. It's it's like eating. Oh my god. <laughs> they're like rubber. Anyway, next okay. question. Let's move on. I'm gonna get hungry. Pipette or syringe? Syringe. Syringe, absolutely. Yep. 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 Pipettes are great, um, but if you are refilling an ink cartridge, uh, the mouth of the cartridge has to be wide enough, and sometimes it's not. So syringe. I think you have better control with the syringe, and it doesn't, you know, with the pipette, sometimes you get that little, you know, you Bubble. get that little popping, and yeah. then, then ink gets everywhere. Okay. So, syringe. syringe. Sure. Orange ink or red ink? Oof. Can I have a red orange, maybe? Uh, red. I'll do red, maybe. Okay, what's your favorite actually, red? I don't actually have any. I have like Bordeaux. I have, you know, Mont Blanc Bordeaux, Burgundy Red. Okay. That would be I'd like dark reds. Okay. Not so bright. you don't have a favorite red? Well, if you call Mont, Mont Blanc Bordeaux, yeah, I'm pretty. That's a Burgundy. It's in the red family. Okay. I, don't, I actually don't own a red ink. Okay, well, maybe you should try one. Maybe I should. Schaefer Red is an excellent. Cardinal Kestrel, look at that. That's a great red. That's a, that is a good looking red, actually. Okay. All right. Um, I like oranges. It's like, if you get the right orange, like Sailor Apricot or Kinmokusai, it's like liquid sunshine. It's like orange juice in your pen. It just makes me happy. So there you go. 
Oh my god. Retro mm. 51 Terabyte 2.0 or Retro 51 Chicago. Oh, man. Uh, that's a tough one because yes. I, I love them both. Um, if, if I only had one to pick, I would probably pick the 2.0. I'm really, I'm really pleased with the, the new, the new terabyte. I really, it's. I like the black, the all stealthy look to it. Mm -hmm. I think it's really cool. I mean, yeah, Chicago is Chicago is awesome. Um, I, it could be just that the terabyte 2.0 is like the latest, greatest thing. So you know, when we come up with the next one, it'll be that one. But um, I refuse to choose. That's my story. Okay. I'm sticking right. to it. I love the Chicago. I love it's mm -hmm. clean and simple and beautiful. Um, we we had a hand in redesigning it. They did a great job, yeah. and we tweaked it a little bit. That was great. Um, the Terabyte 2.0, I love. Yeah. Um, I loved the first one. Mm -hmm. This one is... It's cool. I, I, like I it. won't say cooler, but it's definitely a different look, a different feel. Um, yep. So I, I refuse to choose. All right, what else we got? Cursive or print? Well, it depends. Do you want to read my writing or? <laughs> I usually print. Really? I, I print. Not at shows. I usually print. That's yeah. printing? Yeah, well, sometimes you can't read it. It looks like. Uh, I love the look of cursive from someone who can actually write legibly. Um, I'm pretty scrawly. I'm not a, a fan of my own handwriting. You but, don't like uh, that? Well, that's kind of cursive. I guess that's cursive. Yeah. Um, I would have to say print. Okay. So there you go. All right, last one. Da -da -da! Oh my God. Roadrunner or Coyote? <laughs> Roadrunner. <laughs> Although I gotta give I gotta give ten points to Coyote. He's always uh, he's like a the evil creative genius. You know, that was not my favorite cartoon. Oh, man, I loved it. I didn't I loved like it. it. I'm going with neither. I loved it. You got the Acme hole that he puts on there. Then Anyway, Roadrunner. All right. All right. Um, other news. Uh, you were gone. Yeah, last Woo! weekend. So, I mean, um, gee, well, that's a shame. Oh, my goodness. Um, me and Ken Jones, okay. Ken Jones and I, uh, in Chicago. Uh, thanks for everybody that, that stopped. But yeah, it was it was crazy. So Ken says he he calls me up and says, "Okay, I don't know how this works. I don't know how you want to do it." He says, "But I'm bringing a lot of pens." I said, "Well, you know that's cool. We we got you know we can put in a couple of cases." He's like, "You know you don't understand. I'm bringing a lot of pens." He covered every single case we had except one. Well, the only reason he didn't cover that is because Too we far away. we no we, we doubled up on one, so we kind of kept everything in the front. It was crazy the video you sent me with all of these binders. Um, we had everything that Yaffa distributes. And <laughs> Kenny even wore a tie? Wore a tie oh yep. my god. Um, but we I, had we had Monteverdi, Conklin, Paraphernalia, uh, Diplomat, Stipula, Marlin, uh, what am I forgetting? Probably Paniter. Paniter, yeah, Paniter was a big, big hit at the show, the new Paniter gemstones. Store, yep. Um, were just fantastic. It was good to see those in person. I had seen them uh, before, but um, really nice. They had the, the, the Hyperflex nib, 14 karat, um, really, really a nice, nice writing pen. Uh, everybody saw it, loved it. Um, but we had all sorts of stuff, um, and it was crazy. So we were, we were really hopping as best it could be with the Fourth of July holiday um, on Friday. And they shut down part of the Dan Ryan Expressway on, on Saturday. Saturday yep, Luckily, yep. that didn't impact you too nope, much, but nope. I was concerned that you were going to be like stranded. No, no. So, but with, uh, with my car. Good, uh, <laughs> good show with Ken. We got to see a lot of cool stuff um, and um, talked about some new stuff that's going to come, uh, be coming along that I ordered. So. And he's he's so knowledgeable. He's so much fun and he's so knowledgeable. And he's been doing this for literally I, decades. I don't know what the number is, but it's got to be at least 35 years. Yeah. It's got to be at least 35. And what I love about Ken is he's been on the other side of the table. So he's he's been in retail. He used to work with Bert Ozer at Bertram's Inkwell. Um, and I love to hear his stories from the good old days. Um, you know, when they had their store in the mall, and, and it was just... Uh, it, it does help when you have 
a sales rep or someone who's high up in a distribution company who understands what it takes to run yep. not just an online store but a, a retail Retail's brick and different. mortar. Retail is it's different. It's absolutely different. Um, a lot of um, people think it's, it's just as simple as opening the door, and you know, but it doesn't. <laughs> it's no. very different. So no. uh, we had a good time with Ken and uh, everybody. Everybody at the in Chicago, the, the staff was uh, was delighted to see him and. Uh, uh, we've already booked Ken coming back in December, so that's yes. how much uh, we, we all enjoyed it, and Ken loved it. And he's like, "I want to come back, dude. I'm going to be here. Um, here's my here's my date. <laughs> here's here's when I can come, and I think this will be the perfect date. So uh, he'll be back uh, December seventh and eighth, sixth yep. and seventh already. We got a plan, so it's going to be 7th awesome. Seventh and eighth. Um, it'll be a Friday, Saturday again. So uh, it was it was a good time. So I know. I'm sorry I missed it. You guys went, and you know, I'm I'm a little concerned. Because you took pictures of the appetizer, you took pictures of the dessert. You didn't take, didn't picture, take picture of the, of the actual, actual steak. The actual steak. Well, you know. Oh, and the soup. The soup. The was soup cool. was great. So, went to Michael Jordan's. Great place. Um, it was not very busy, so that was nice. Yeah. But anyway, uh, that was Yaffa. That's the last event we're going to have for a while until after DC. DC, and then I'm totally stoked about Platinum event. I want to go. Um, it's going to be awesome. Uh, John and Carol and Gillette, and hopefully Bryce will be able to make it. Um, they're going to be bringing all sorts of great stuff, and we have a, and a pretty good selection of, of platinum as it is at the store, uh, plus with the tester set, and yeah. they're going to bring all sorts of higher end maquillage and, and interesting things that platinum does. And they're so, so much fun. Yeah, they're fun. We love them. Yeah, they're like yeah. family. So. Um, but that's that's not coming for a while. Um, let's I'm, talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> um, so welcome I, back. I, Goodbye. I, welcome back. I don't get a break. <laughs> I haven't had a break for two months. Uh, I have not been here on a Friday in two months. Yeah, that's about true. Yeah, it's like yeah. seven weeks in a row of stuff. So uh, Miami Pen Show. I am actually very excited about this. Uh, we haven't been in five years. 2013 was the last time we went. Um, and, and we are not going. We are not going. I am going. I'm flying down. I'm actually which, flying out of Appleton, which is cool. Which. To me, it's so exciting. Last time we went, we drove, just like going to L.A. or, or yep. San Fran. It's, you know, it's two days way. down, yep. two days back. Brian's flying. Flying down. The only thing I'm nervous about is getting all the stuff in the case. Uh, we still haven't figured out if we're going to ship a box or not. But I, I'm bringing, it's not the usual setup. Um, so Anderson Pens will be at the show, but we did, we're not, I'm not bringing ink. Um, and I'm no not bringing ink, paper, paper. No paper at all. Yeah. So None. it's basically pens. Uh, I probably I, I'm going to squeeze some some Visconti silk cases in. The small uh, ones, probably not the large ones. Probably not the large. We'll see what I can fit in there. But I'm bringing four 96 pen binders uh, and then a couple of 48s if I can fit those in as well. Uh, I'm bringing Namiki, Pilot, Platinum, Sailor, Visconti. I'm bringing Paniter, all the new Paniter gemstones. Um, I'm going to see if I can. I'll probably have some Coecos. I've got some vintage stuff that I've been working on. Yes. So some snorkels and touchdowns, vacuumatics, uh, some Estherbrooks, um, and some other things, and well, whatever else I can I can finish up. Uh, so we'll have have a small selection of vintage. Uh, what else? Um, Quaker lily Lilliputs. Um, whatever we can fit. Whatever I can fit in in. I'm going to basically going to try to bring maybe 600 pens. Okay. Um, so. Um, this, it's going to be cool, though. I'm going to actually time it, and I'm going to open up the case and lay it out, and then and boom, I'm done. Boom, done. So I'm excited for you. Um, and you get in on Thursday evening, so mm -hmm. you get to kind of make sure you know where you're going on Friday yep. morning, and then it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then you actually spend the night Sunday night, which we never do, and usual, then yep. you leave... Like Monday afternoon. Afternoon. Yeah. So this is really kind of leisurely for you. You're bringing your bathing suit. You can go to the pool. Yeah, I'll try the pool. There Why you not? You know, but uh, it's going to be. It's at the Double Tree. Um, check it out. It's MiamiPenShow.com, I think. And if you're in the area, definitely go. It's at the um, Double Tree Miami Airport and Convention Center. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. I always like going to a new show or a different show in a geographic region because you get to see people you don't normally see. You get, you know, you get some of the local flavor that doesn't normally travel. But you know, hey, I'm an hour away, so I'll buy a table right. kind of kind of people, and uh, and you get to meet some interesting folks. Um, and in Miami, who knows who we're going to see? So you know, the last time we were there, Paul Arano and Bob Novak started singing. Do you remember that Duke of I, Earl? Uh, I vaguely they recall that. They have terrific yes. voices, so yep. you never know. It's like a pen show and entertainment. So, 
Um, looking forward. Of course, last time we went, we bought a collection. Yes. Investor books. Um, yes, we did. One of the last times. How many I, of those did you keep? I kept three or four. Okay. Um, and that was we. That yeah, was the last time we found uh, a dollar pen demonstrator. So. Mm -hmm. um, so you never know. I, I, who knows what I'm going to buy? Who knows what I'm going to sell? Oh my God! You're going to be unsupervised. I'm going to be unsupervised with a cash, cash bag. So. I know it's awesome. Anyway, uh, Miami well, Pen Show. Hang on, Expedia.com. <laughs> I got to check my <laughs> Miami Pen Show. Come down and see me. I'm going to have two tables there. You'll see the blue tablecloths, um, and we'll have lots of lots of pens, and um, we're going to have have a good time. Now I'm worried. No, don't be worried. Okay. So. All right. All right. Anything else you want to chat about? No, I think that's it. We okay. need to finish packing for All you, right. so I can send you out of town for the weekend. She's she's more excited about me. I'm leaving. a little excited. She's more excited about me. Leaving I get to stay home, sleep in my own bed. Worried that I'm unsupervised. I'm gonna be worried. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll be so busy that you don't have time to shop. It's a small show. I can shop in the morning. Anyway, I think that's uh, it for this week. Thanks so much for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper, and Miami show review. Is this where I can hit you again? No, don't no. hit me. All right. Um, follow the blog for news, ink reviews, all sorts of other announcements, and uh, follow us on social media as Anderson Pets. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.